Let me tell you something, man. I've wasted years of success by staying loyal to toxic ass individual children. ones. If they're not bringing you no peace, if they're not bringing you profit, if they're not bringing you purpose to the table, don't you dare give them your time, your energy, or attention. Haven't you noticed how peaceful your life became ever since God removed certain toxic individuals from your life? I don't know who this message is for right now, but haven't you noticed how blessed and highly favored your life has become ever since God removed certain blessing blockers from your life? These toxic individuals either experience childhood trauma, a mental illness, listen to me, or they have experienced a toxic environment or a toxic upbringing. And we find ourselves being loyal to these toxic as individuals. We find ourselves trying to save and help all these toxic, negative, low vibrational people. They ain't doing nothing in our lives. They're not bringing value to our lives. They're not bringing peace into our lives. Listen to me. They're not bringing profit to our lives. They're not bringing purpose. And you got to realize that time is the most valuable thing to waste right now. I don't know what this message is for. Stop allowing easy access to your energy. Stop giving people your attention and mind the business that's paying you. I don't wasted all my 20s. Being loyal to toxic ass friends, toxic ass family members, toxic ass ex narcissist lovers, and I'm tired of it. And ever since I've gave my life to Jesus, ever since I've gave God my all, I'm telling you, man, he's been blessing me. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. Just leave me alone. Don't you be afraid to put a couple blow and tell these toxic ass individuals, say, just leave me alone. Because guess what? I'm on my way, amen, to newer heights. I'm on my way to the next level. I'm on my way to where, to where God, amen, has a place in store for me. But I'm going to tell you, man, you got to learn how to ride this thing by yourself. I'd rather be alone and real. Than to be fake and hang around a bunch of toxic individuals. Understand what I'm getting ready to say? Because let me tell you what these toxic people will do. They will pull you down. They will drain you of your energy. They're negative, man. They're low vibrational. Understand what I'm getting ready to say. They're not bringing you no kind of peace into your life. They're bringing nothing but problems. They're nothing but problematic people. You got to remove yourself from these people, man. They are nothing but they, they operate in the spirit of confusion, man. I'm telling you what's going on. They operate in strife. They operate in negativity, man. Ain't nothing positive about these people. And you're going to find yourself being just like this, these toxic individuals. You're going to find yourself talking like them. Carrying on them same demonic spirits that they carry on them. You're going to find yourself just like these people because you know why? You soon become the company that you keep around. Think about where you are right now. Think about how far you could have went if you would have just left these people alone. If I can go back, amen, in time and change the people who I was hanging around with, I will go back and do that. But I can't. I got to keep my eyes on the prize right now. I got to keep looking toward the hills from which come of my help, knowing that all of my help coming from God. Come on, talk to me. I got to keep pressing towards the mark of the price of the high calling in Christ Jesus, man. I ain't got time to keep looking back. I don't know who this message is for. Do not let loneliness drive you back to these toxic ass individuals who once broke you. Do not let your loneliness drive you back to these toxic ass individuals who once used you, manipulated you, gaslighted you, man. Don't do it. 
Don't you dare let your loneliness drive you back to these toxic ass individuals who once told you that you wasn't going to be the next big thing. Who once laughed out at you, man. Who once showed you how they really feel about you. When people show you their true colors, you got to believe them. And this is why, I don't know who this message is for, but you got to give people time when you first meet them. You give people time. You give people space and eventually I'm telling you, man, they true colors is going to come out. Because let me tell you what these toxic people do. When they first meet you, you got to realize, guess what? They know who you belong to. They feel your spirit. They know you coming. They see you coming. And some of these people that you come and encounter with, I'm telling you, man, they're going to come into your life as wolves in cheap clothing. You will never know. They will come into your life with a full-blown mask on. You will never know. They will come into your life disguised as a supportive angel. You would have never known back then. Because you know why? You once was lost, but now you're found. You once was blind, but now you see. Come on and talk to me. And right now that you're on the journey alone, you better embrace this journey. You better get everything that God has for you. You better not waste another year on a toxic individual who ain't bringing no peace, no profit, no purpose into your life. Let me tell you something, man. You got to realize what you brought to the table. People constantly asking you what you bring to the table. You know exactly what you bring to the table. You ain't got to keep explaining yourself to these demons out here. Because you was bringing nothing but positivity into people's life. You was bringing nothing but peace into people's life. I don't know who this message is for. You was bringing profit and purpose into people's life. And guess what? They took you for granted. They straight dogged you out. They was jealous of you. Always in secret competition with you. Hating on you behind your back. Smiling your face, but they was talking about you behind your back. Get from around these toxic ass individuals. Let me tell you something, man. Because guess what? They're coming from a toxic environment. They're coming from a toxic upbringing. I don't know who this message is for. And you calling yourself being loyal to toxic ass people. I don't know what it is with the chosen ones. We always find ourselves being loyal to negative people, being loyal to people, amen, who, who, who not bringing value to our lives, who not bringing profit to our lives, who not bringing purpose to our life. And you wonder why, guess what? You can never get to the next level. You wonder why you can't, you can't meet up on, on other people's frequency. You can't get on, you can't get on that high frequency because you know why? You got a bunch of energy drainers in your life who's pulling your energy. They draining you of your energy. You giving them all of your positive energy. You giving people all of your strength. You giving people all your time, your energy and attention. They not giving you anything back. You constantly giving out people, pouring out to people. Hey man, guess what? Your cup empty now. They cup full and your cup empty. Ain't nobody pouring into your cup. Ain't nobody pouring into your life. Ain't nobody pouring into your dream. Ain't nobody pouring into your destiny because you already know. Guess what? They're afraid that you're going to be bigger than them. I'm telling you what's going on. You got a lot of people that are scared of your potential and you're not even knowing right now. But we find ourselves being loyal to these toxic ass people. Negative ass people, low vibrational ass people. They ain't nothing but energy vampires, man. Remove yourself from around people because you got to realize people know you by your spirit chosen ones. You're not even knowing. People need a boost in life. They need your energy to, in order for them to be successful. You're not even knowing. You need your energy to be successful. I don't know who this message is for, but you need to start preserving that energy. Start conserving that energy, man. Stop just allowing easy access to your energy, man. Because that negative energy is contagious. That toxic energy is contagious. It will jump on you if you will allow it to. Other than I'm getting ready to say. Mind the business that's paying you right now. Let me tell you something, man. We get so easily distracted by these toxic ass people who look good on the outside, 
But they ain't, they ain't nothing but demonic and devilish on the inside. You got to start asking God for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The Bible says to be careful for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. But in all things through prayer and through supplication. Everything that glitter is not gold. And you wonder why they're ex for a reason. You wonder why they're your ex-narcissist lover for a reason. Because they was constantly giving you that narcissistic abuse treatment. Understand what I'm getting ready to say. They're still battling childhood trauma. Their parents was toxic to them. You not even knowing. This is why that marriage didn't work out. I don't know who this message is for. This is why, guess what? You're going through a divorce right now. Because you was constantly being loyal to toxic ass people who was raised from a toxic family, raised from a toxic environment. It all makes sense now. As you look back over your life. Oh, it all makes sense now. As you look back over your life. And now as you keep on pressing towards the mark, guess what? Your vision is getting more clearer. Every time God removes people from your life, negative ass people, low vibrational ass people, come on and talk to me. Your vision got more clearer. Even though your circle got smaller, your vision got more clearer. And now you're starting to see through people like an x-ray machine. I'm talking about when people start, you know, trying to come into your life, trying to introduce themselves. You like back, back, give me a hundred feet. Who are you? Who sent you? Who raised you? Don't you be afraid to put it come below and say, back, back, give me a hundred feet. I'm talking about to the people who just met, who you just meeting, the people who's, who's showing you interest. Let me tell you something. You tell them to back, back and give you a hundred feet because your time is valuable. I don't know what this message is for, but time is money. The money is calling right now. Your purpose is calling you right now. Your destiny is calling you right now, but you, 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 you got some toxic ass people you got to remove from your life. Let me tell you something. You're not going to get to this next level. Hold on on and being loyal to toxic ass people. You're not, you guys are not the same. What part you don't understand that you guys are not the same. What part you don't understand that your Holy Spirit disturbs their demons on the inside of them. What part you don't understand. What part you don't understand that these people are operating in demonic spirits every single day. People are fighting demons every day. Some people are really mentally ill. Listen to me. When I was doing fitness training, I'm still doing fitness training, but when I was doing fitness training about what, four or five months ago. Not only this person that I was training was demonic, jealous, devilish, envious of me. But this person had a mental illness that God had to reveal to me once he removed that person out of my life. And let me tell you something about mental illness people. Not all of them, but some of them that are mental ill, they carry on demonic spirits. Listen to me. People that are mentally ill, guess what? The devil take advantage of their minds. They're not in their right frame of mind. Not only are they mentally ill, but they have experienced childhood trauma on top of that. Understand what I'm giving to say. And if they're not mentally ill, you got to pay attention to the family. You got to pay attention to who the, who the people that they hang around, their friends that they hang around. Understand what I'm giving to say. Because where is all this toxic negative energy is coming from? It's coming from other people who carry on other toxic energy. I'm telling you what's going on. And you wonder why, guess what? We all got the same bodies, but we got different spirits. You too busy looking at people's outer appearance. You too busy looking at people's materialistic things, what they driving, what house they living in, how many houses they got in the hill, how many cars they got in the driveway, how much money they got in the bank account. But let me tell you something, man, that toxic energy, that toxic energy, do not lie. And sometimes the devil will distract you. By bringing certain toxic individuals into your life, he will bring them into your life disguised as a supportive angel. They might have everything. Listen to me. They might got money. They might got houses on a hill, cars in the driveway. But guess what? They toxic. They devilish. They negative. They low vibrational. And they getting ready to pull you down with them. 
Don't you be fooled by these Decepticons. Don't you be fooled by these karmics out here. Don't you be fooled by people's low vibrational energies. You got to start reading people's energies when you meet them. Read people's energies when you go right back into their presence. I'm telling you what's going on. And haven't you noticed? Guess what? It's been years. It's been 10, 15 years for me. Listen to me. It's been 16 years for me. And when I go back and I see the same people that was holding me back, same people that was pulling me down, same people that kicked me to the curb, same toxic ass people, hey amen, that never believed in me, guess what? They're doing the same thing, working the same job, carry on the same spirit. They haven't even changed. But guess what? You the one that changed. Ain't that funny? Ain't that funny that guess what? You the one that, that came to the marvelous light. You the one that became the best version of yourself. You the one that's out here shining bright like a diamond. You the one that's living and moving and having your being through the Holy Spirit. Because it's the God in you. God changed you for the better. And you thought you was being punished when God was removing certain people out of your life. You thought you wasn't going to make it when God started removing toxic individuals from your life. You thought God was punishing you. No, he wasn't punishing you. He was preparing you for your greater. So you take advantage of this isolation season that you're in right now. Because you can do bad all by yourself. You don't need no other people, no toxic ass people, amen, to make you do bad. You can do bad all by yourself. And sometimes, guess what we do? We go back to these toxic ass people. We haven't learned our lesson. We go back to these toxic ass people. They get ready to take your blessings. They full of drama. They full of confusion. They full of discord. Listen to me. They full of negativity, man. I'm telling you what's going on. Have you ever been around somebody and they play that role real good for about what? A couple of weeks? Maybe a couple of months? My granny, my granny used to tell me, hey, give it two years. Give it two to three years. You're going to see who people really are and what they really about. Listen to me. Ain't it funny within them two or three years and you thought this person was positive, you thought this person was on your level, you thought this person, hey amen, was on that high frequency like you, ain't it funny within two, two or three years, maybe two months, maybe it took you two weeks to see who these person really are, ain't it funny how to, out of nowhere they just laughed out at you, out of nowhere you like, where that come from? I'm talking about all, out of nowhere they just disrespected you. And you ain't did nothing wrong to these people. Listen to me. Out of nowhere, their true colors came out and they laughed out at you. They attacked you. Whether they attacked you physically or, or whether they attacked you spiritually, it came out. Because guess what? Them demons can't hide too long. You are the light that is surrounded by darkness. What part you don't understand? What part you don't understand that guess what? Your Holy Spirit it triggers the demons on inside of people. And people, guess what? They can hold them demons in them for too long. The more they hang out with you, the more it's going to be boiling. Them demons are going to be boiling them just like a, 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 a pot of hot water boiling in the stove. Listen to me. They're going to start off as calm and cool and collective. Listen to me. They're going to start off as positive and genuine and Come on, talk to me and, and love him. But I'm telling you, man, give it a few months, give it a few weeks, give it a few years, give it, just give it time. And I promise you, people going to show you who they really are. They're going to show you who they about. They're going to show you who they working for. They working for the devil's kingdom. I'm telling you what's going on. And once you see people for who they really are, you got to believe them. Once people show you they toxic ass ways, you got to remove yourself from them. The Bible says to be ye separate. To come out from amongst them. Now I know what the Bible means when it says that. Listen to me. Because if you always constantly find yourself around these types of ass people, guess what? You're going down with them. You wonder why you ain't getting the blessings that you deserve. You wonder why you haven't made it to the next level yet. This is real what I'm talking about. Do not take this message lightly. You wonder why, guess what? You haven't reached that newer height. You ain't made it to the top of the mountain. Because every time you climb in that ladder of success, 
You got a toxic person in your life that's pulling you down. Whether they throwing shade on your success. Whether they talking about you behind your back. That's why you got to start hanging around people who going to protect your name in your absence. Listen to me. People talk about you behind your back every single time. And you wonder why God removes certain toxic ass individuals from your life. I don't give a damn if they family, friends, girlfriend, boyfriend. Guess what? When God removed them, he did it for a reason. I don't care if it's hubby. I don't care if it's wifey. If they toxic, they ass got to go. He removed them for a reason. Because God heard conversations that you couldn't even hear. Because you got to realize one toxic individual, individual is going to hang out with another toxic individual. Then that toxic individual is going to hang out with another toxic individual. It's like a repeating cycle. They all hang out together. Why you think the saying says birds of a feather flock together? And you wonder why you flocking by yourself. You wonder why you ain't got nobody to call on. You wonder why you ain't got nobody to hang out with Because ain't nobody like you Ain't nobody positive like you Ain't nobody uplifting like you Ain't nobody motivative like you Ain't nobody inspiring like you, man It's in you A lot of people think it's on you But it's not on you It's in you And this is why people can't stand you You got the energy, man but if you keep on giving out that energy to people, amen, who don't deserve it, you keep on wasting time with people, amen, guess what, who who just constantly ain't getting you where you need to be. If you keep constantly, amen, I'm trying to tell you, if you keep giving all your attention to people, amen, who, who constantly, amen, just pulling you down, constantly draining you, constantly, amen, destroying your name in your absence, constantly, amen, amen, uh, 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 saying all evils and matters against you, you ain't going to never make it to the next level. Just leave me the hell alone. I don't care if you got to change your number, change your address. Listen to me. Men lie and women lie all the time. But one thing that don't lie is that toxic energy. That toxic energy never lies. You know when somebody toxic, man. You calling yourself staying loyal to these people who constantly playing victim all the time. Want to make it seem like you the bad guy. You constantly being loyal and faithful to these people, giving the shirts off your back to these people. They ain't giving you nothing in return. They toxic. Using your kindness for weakness, man. They're toxic. Constantly, a man saying jealousy jokes. You gotta be very careful with them jealousy jokes, man. You got to be very careful, amen, when people start saying certain things and shooting out subliminals. I know something I'm getting ready to say. Because you're not even knowing what them jealousy jokes, them little subliminals they throwing, you're not even knowing. They really showing you how they really feel about you. Pay attention to the signs. They're toxic. You got to realize that you belong to the most high. You got to realize you get all your divine energy for the most high. I don't know who this message is for. You so full of his love and you so full of his grace. You so full of his mercy, man. You want other people to win. Listen to me. I don't know what this message is for. You want other people to succeed, chosen ones. But not everybody wants you to win. Not everybody you got in your life right now wants you to succeed. They're toxic. Remove yourself from these people. And you constantly keep on trying to explain yourself to demons. You constantly trying to help people, save people. You can't help everybody. You can't save everybody because certain people need enough help. They need enough strength to bite you in your ass. Stop giving your strength to everybody. I don't know who this message is for. Stop giving all your strength to these toxic ass individuals because guess what? You're going to find out, amen, that guess what? Now you become weak. You weak minded. You weak in health. You weak in strength. This is why you got anxiety attacks. This is why you're facing and fighting depression every day. Because you didn't commit an illegal soul tie with a toxic ass individual. 
But I, I pray that God will break that soul tie. I pray that God will break that chain. I pray that God will break that stronghold. You'd be surprised, man. And what makes people toxic is the devil. The trick of the enemy. People are worshiping devils every single day. And the Bible says, do not put no other gods before me. The Bible says that. People are worshiping false idols every single day. Doing tarot card reading every single day. That carries on demonic spirits. Of course, people going to pretend like they're chosen. They're going to pretend like, hey amen, that they're positive when they're around you. Of course, they're going to pretend, but they can't pretend for so long. You'd be surprised on the real reason why toxic people are so attracted to us. Because we got something that they need. They need your energy, man. Listen to me. You're not profiting from them. You're not profiting together. They're profiting off of you. And you wonder why, guess what? Every time you turn around, you're getting used. <laughs> Listen to me. Every time you turn around, they're constantly making withdrawals. From your life. They using you like an ATM machine. They go over there. Push them little four little numbers. Your pin number. Do, 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 do. Put your little pin in. And all they doing is take, take, taking from you. They not depositing nothing into your life. Come on and talk to me. That's toxic. That's toxicity. All they, all they in your life is for is what they can get out of you. That's nothing but toxicity. They not depositing anything back into your life. Guess what? They slowing your ass down. If they're not holding you down, they slowing you down. Listen to me. Not only they were making withdrawals from your life, but guess what? They're not bringing purpose to the table, baby. Who are you? Who sent you? Why are you in my life? Why are you trying to become a part of my life? You're not bringing me no purpose. You guys don't have nothing in common. You guys can't even you guys can't even do business together. If you can't do business with people, guess what? They shouldn't even be in your life because you a businessman and you a businesswoman. Don't you be afraid to put a comment below and say, guess what? If we can't even start a business together, I don't need you around me. And you wonder why God gave you your own business and you running your own business. People are not business minded like you. Listen to me. God don't want you to start certain businesses with certain people because he know that guess what? They're going to try to destroy your business and destroy you in the process. Don't you be a fool. You'll be surprised on the real reason why God gave you your own business and only you. Because guess what, man? Your heart opened up that door. Listen to me. God, so God said, since you got a good heart, since you was loyal to these toxic ass people, God said, I'm getting ready to move on the hearts of kings and queens in high position for you. You not even knowing. God said, since you've been faithful over a few things, since you've been faithful at this toxic ass job, you've been faithful with these toxic ass people. That's another thing we need to talk about. This toxic ass job that you at right now. Where there's nothing but toxic ass individuals, toxic ass low vibrational entities at this job. Listen to me, your bo boss is toxic. Listen to me. God told me to tell you right now, don't even go back to toxic environments no more. I don't know who this message is for. Because not only you feel spirits on people, not only you gonna feel toxic energy on certain people, right? But ain't it funny how when you go to a certain location, certain environment, you can feel the toxicity in the room. You can feel the dark spirits in the room. It's the environment as well. You're not even knowing. Listen, the whole environment is toxic. God told me to tell you to pack your bags. He's getting ready to move you out of that toxic ass neighborhood. You got to move. Because eyes have not seen or ears haven't heard the plans that God has in store for you. I don't waste years of success, man. Little do y'all know, man, I could have been so somewhere even just, man, I could have been farther in life. If I knew now 
If I could go back in time and, 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 and have the knowledge that I have now, could you imagine how far that I would have would have been right now? So that, see, that's what the devil would do. He'll send certain people into your life that's close to you. Knowing they're not built like you, they don't pray like you, they don't see God on a daily basis like you. Oh, he'll send these people in your life as a distraction to slow your ass down. You're not even knowing. God will send distraction, fiery darts. That's why the Bible says put on the whole arm of God. Before you walk outside your house, you got to put on the whole arm of God. Before you even turn that key in your car, you got to put on the whole arm of God. Before you even link up and meet up with people, you got to put on that whole arm of God. Because let me tell you something, energy is real. Before you even go on a date, you got to put on the whole arm of God. Get on your knees and pray. Before you even say I do to this person While you walking down that aisle Getting ready to give your life to this person You got to put on the whole arm of God And ask God for knowledge, wisdom and understanding Because not everybody that's, that's being sent into your life Is coming with peace Not everybody that's been sitting to your life, amen, is getting ready, amen, to bring profit. They're not, get, they're not sending you to no money. They're not leading you to the bag. Not everybody that's coming into your life, amen, glory be to God, is going to bring purpose. Oh, honey, I'm here to make you better. I'm here, amen, to make you stronger. Amen, I'm going to support you. I'm going to ride with you. Whatever you do, I'm going to back you up. Ain't nobody doing that no more. It's all about what can you do for me? How can you help me get to the next level? And then once you help these people get in the air, guess what they're going to do? They're going to shit on you. That's why you can't help everybody. That's why you can't save everybody. And little do you know, by you being in people's presence, by you giving people your time and energy, you already elevated them. You're not even knowing. And I'm talking about spiritually. Because before you can be elevated, a man out here in the physical, before you can get elevated out here in the financial realm, you got to be elevated in the spiritual realm. Let me tell you something. I can stop preaching right there. And you're not even knowing when you walk into people's life, your energy make people want to do better. Your presence. I'm telling you, man, it makes people want to do good in life. Your aura is glistening. You got favor when people shake your hand, when people hug you, I'm telling you, they're getting blessed. You're not even knowing. And half of the time you shaking hands with a toxic person. Half of the time you ain't doing nothing but hugging toxic ass people who are giving you these church ass hugs, these one arm hugs. You shaking people's hand, they're giving you three fingers. They barely want to shake your hand because they're toxic, man. Because little do you know, in order for you to get that firm handshake, you got to put energy into the handshake. You're not even knowing. You wonder why you hug certain people? It felt like it's the best hug you'd have never had. Because guess what? You got to put energy into that hug. You not even knowing. You better pay attention to what's going on. Pay attention to people's spirits. Pay attention to people's body language. Pay attention to people's livelihood. Pay attention to people's fruits that they are bearing. They're not bearing no good fruit. They're connivers. They're deceivers. They're manipulators. Remove yourself from these toxic ass individuals. Because God is getting ready to send you some positive ass friends. God is getting ready to send you some positive people who really want to see you get to the next level. God is getting ready to send you a positive twin flame who not going to lie on you, cheat on you, reject you, neglect you. They're going to be there for you even until the end of your destination. Because I believe that there are some people that's going to push you even further than where you really need to go. God getting ready to send some people that's going to push you further. Hey Amen. Did you ever thought that you could ever be? Let me tell you something, man. And now you come to find out, guess what? The more you start putting time and energy and attention and effort into these people who ain't bringing the same kind of energy, love and energy back into you. You find yourself being toxic like these motherfuckers. Ain't that crazy? You find yourself talking like them, dressing like them. You think I'm lying? You carry on the same spirits as these people. Listen to me. 
And when I was out there living in that world full of sin, people used to tell me like, man, what? Man, you looking so dark. Jordan, that's not like you, man. You don't even look the same. You're not even acting the same. Man, what spirit that came on, on, on over you? And I'm like, man, what are you talking about? I'm still the same. I'm still cool. I'm still down. And God like, no, you not. God like, you don't even look the same. So guess what? I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to isolate you. And God like, I don't care how mad you get. Because you're going to soon understand that, guess what? You're going to understand better. You're going to understand, guess what? That, that, that you're going to understand it better by and by. Listen, when God puts you in isolation, you may not understand what he's doing right then and there. You, it might seem like God has given up on you. I don't know who this message is for. It might seem like God left you or he forsake you, but he's right there with you the whole time. I promise you. The Holy Spirit is right there with you. And guess what? When he removed toxic people from your life, when he removed, amen, these negative, uh, 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 low vibrational uh, 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 energy vampires from your life, guess what? It's going to feel like you're lonely. It's going to feel like, amen, you ain't got nobody to talk to. It's going to feel like, amen, that guess what? Everybody gave up on you. But guess what? God is actually molding you. He's shaping you into the man or woman of God that you're supposed to be. Guess what God is doing? He's stirring that gift up in you while you're in isolation mode right now. Guess what God is doing? He's preparing you for greater. He's preparing your mind. He's building your character. He's building your strength all over again. He's giving you a new level of anointing. So when you go back into that world, guess what? You ain't going to look like what you've been through. Look how peaceful your life became since God removed these toxic ass people out of your life. But I'm going to tell you, you got the peace that surpasses all understanding. You got the joy, unspeakable joy. Come on, don't you be afraid to put it come below and say, Lord, thank you for moving these toxic ass people out of my life. Because Lord, I done found peace. Lord, I done found joy. Lord, I done found happiness. And let me tell you something, the chosen ones. Don't you let these people drive you back to their devilish and demonic ways again. Because the devil come to kill, steal, and to destroy you. But God come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. God come that you might have life and he came that you might have the key to prosperity. Don't you be afraid to put a couple of blow and say God came that I might have life and that he might give me the key to prosperity. I mean to tell you right now, God is getting ready to give you everything that you have lost with more. I'm here to tell you right now, God is getting ready to give you double for your trouble. I don't know who this message is for. God is getting ready to give you back everything that the devil thought that he has stole from you. Understand what I'm getting ready to say. You stay vigilant. You be ye steadfast and unmovable and always abided in the work of God. And I promise you, God is going to get you where you need to be. So don't you ever forget of all the years that you have wasted. And if you know better, you going to do better. If you know better, you going to choose better. Don't you be afraid to put a couple blows and say, since I know better, I got to choose better. I got to choose better friends. I got to choose, amen, amen. I got to choose a better people to hang out with. I got to choose, amen, more wiser people to be around. Let me tell you something. You soon become the company you keep. Don't you be a fool, man. Ride this thing, Solo Bolo. And watch how God is, how high God is getting ready to take you. We the chosen ones.